Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. We have a big one planned here. Sorry for uh, the twilight lighting. It is getting dusky. But uh, as you guys can see, we revealed this in the last video. We, me and Nick both picked, or Cameron, my bad, picked up CC100X Coleman mini bikes. They're from 2019. They're pretty nice. They work good. And Cameron has got himself an upgrade immediately. We literally just got these the other day and he already bought this. Uh, $99.99 on sale. Uh, they might not be on sale at the time of this video release, but this is what Cameron got his for. So we're going to be swapping this 6.5 horse 212 Predator, the motor that goes in basically every go kart nowadays and mini bike, into his. And uh, there's mine in the background. But So, yeah. So uh, what you're going to need for this, though, uh, for the, the full swap, is you should really only need the engine. A quart of 10W30, best 7-Eleven has to offer, and then a three-quarter shaft uh, centrifugal clutch. clutch. Because so this is a 5 8 right? Yes, the Coleman has a 5 8 on it. Yeah, so this little 100cc, sorry about the lighting, like I said, it's really dark in here. Yeah. But yeah, you guys can see under this cover is the clutch and everything. So this is what we're going to be working with today. We're not going to be changing the sprocket or anything. You can use the same chain. Um, what, what chain is this? this is a 35? Uh, 35, 35 chain. chain? Uh, we'll tell you, we'll confirm later in the video. So yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. Okay, Cameron is taking off the chain guard. That is a 10 millimeter. Yeah, so you have, I think, uh, let's see, two 10s on this and then two eights on this. On the metal chain guard. So we'll just cut one of those off. Okay, got my little Makina impact driver. There we go. Does the trick. No problem. Sip it all the way off. Right, there we go. Don't lose this washer. So, how should we? Oh, we need to unbolt that the engine, and then we get, the engine actually slides oh, yeah. back. So, okay. And there's also the uh, two little wires for the kill switch right there, and the throttle cable. Okay, guys, we're gonna take this off. Put your ten on the bottom, the bolt, and then just put your wrench thirteen, the nut, and just like that. Very easy, kind of hard to show, but keep this hardware so you can mount up the next engine. Yeah, you're going to need to reuse this, and it's the same thing for all four. Just when you loosen all four, you can slide the motor back. You guys can see it's like in this little slot, and then you can take the chain off. So we're just going to do that for all four and get the engine out. Okay, guys, Cameron, we got it all unbolted. You guys can see it's off the space plate holes. Cameron's about to remove the heart of the Coleman. The Gaodong China motor is coming out. All right, now we have a clean base plate. So we're going to wipe that down and then uh, get Prep it ready. Our big Prep. motor. Big motor, baby. V8 motor. Okay, guys, we are on our little 2x6 sawhorse table. It's made in like three minutes. And we're going to prep the engine now. 212. So this is the standard Predator, by the way. You can also get the 212 Ghost. They uh, ride Harbor Freight. And the clutch, uh, what'd you get that on Amazon? Yep, it was like 30 bucks. So, uh, sadly, you do have to get a clutch, but Cameron said it's pretty affordable. Oh, do we have to figure something out or something? It's harder than it looks. I think we have to take this key out. Got to take the key out, apparently. Maybe use a little hammer. Something. Let's use a hammer and something. Okay, don't mess with the key. Okay, let's just put some oil in it real quick and then... Uh, yeah, so to fill it with oil... Uh, it's only half a quart. It's half a quart, so this is a full quart. So uh, It says on the here. box, there's the box over there, has all the specs for the actual motor, so if you're second guessing anything... For the V8 motor. Yeah, this is the big dog. Wait, why are there two fill plugs? This is oil over here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. It's kind of cool feature. Also Easy. has two drain plugs. Easy access. So... Get your 7-Eleven Pens oil. Yep. Fill her up. Uh, don't. Do you have a funnel? <laughs> this is my. This is gonna okay. need a funnel. Yeah, we're gonna need a funnel real quick. Okay, Cameron's popping out the little key. Just use the little nail punch and a hammer. I would keep that. You know, yeah, maybe definitely just in that. case. Okay, uh, now we can put the clutch on. So, so it has its own keyway. We'll show you. I, yeah, you can see in there. There's a little key. You guys can see that. Yep. So that has to go on. Thinking how thick. How do we line it up? 
Because I'm thinking how far away from the mount point is that one compared to that one. Well, let's measure. Yeah. Do you have a tape measure? Yeah, we'll measure it up, and then we'll come back when we got it all set up. Okay, guys. Moment of truth. I cleaned off the base plate. Cameron's going to slide the, the big dog in. Make sure see if it fits. Huh? See if it fits. <laughs> Barely, basically. Hopefully the base plate lines up somehow because if it doesn't, we are sheet out of luck. <laughs> I think it will though. Yeah, it does. Well, it's like hanging out here. It's a big dog, baby. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> the muffler's not on this side. We're good. Yeah, so you won't burn the hell out of your leg. It's quite a bit wider. Um, yeah. Not that much taller though. And that's why it can fit, so. We're going to bolt her up and then we're going to work on getting the clutch lined up because it seems like you may need to use a, sorry about that, spacer. Uh, no, like a, it was a paper thin spacer, but yeah. yeah. So we just got, you just got to make sure the clutch lined up. So it depends on what clutch you buy. Maybe it's a little bit slightly different, but yeah, we'll get it all mounted up and get the chain on. Okay, guys, we just had to run to Home Depot. Um, we didn't put the motor in that, sadly. We had to run to Home Depot and get longer bolts. So, uh, they're M8 1.25. These are the bolts, and they're like little flange head bolts. So, you just need the same, just a little bit longer bolts. Uh, this is an old one. Yeah, there's a, there's a new one. I can see. I think these are what, one and a half inch. Yeah, or 35, 35 millimeter, millimeter. So, which is quite a bit, quite a bit like one and, one and three quarters. So, you just need longer bolts. That's all. Um, so, yeah. If you have four and you're lucky that fit in the holes, then you can do that. But with like washers and everything, then but we just didn't, we knew we weren't, we weren't gonna have that type of luck. So Cameron's gonna start dry fitting it in again. We saw before. It's quite. Whoa! Wait, wait. Oh yeah, you need to pull it towards you a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it hangs out that side of the motor a lot on the. The right side, as you guys can see, so it's kind of uh, lopsided, <laughs> but that's just how it works out. Uh, but it does fit, yeah, which is pretty sick. You don't have to modify the frame one bit. So this is a literally uh, because the motor was ninety nine ninety nine, and then the between the oil and the clutch, twelve dollars for some oil or ten bucks or whatever you want to get, or maybe you already have oil. Then there'll be thirty. And then $30 clutch and some $6 in bolts. This is like 100 and after some tax, it's like a $160 swap um, to literally turn your little three horse into a six and a half horse with way more modification potential. So, uh, and this is a brand new engine. You don't have to buy a used engine or anything. So I'll say that's a pretty freaking good deal. 160 bucks to completely swap it and um, Probably we're going to be done in less than an hour um, from now, and we only spent an hour before that, so it only takes like an hour or two, and that's with us filming. So we'll probably just skip to when we have the clutch on, and we're almost uh, ready to go and ride it, because uh, we just kind of have to reassemble everything, and yeah. And uh, Oh yeah, well, the wiring real quick, we'll talk about. Uh, this already has a kill switch on it right there, that red, that red thing. If you want, you can take this off and rewire. So you could rewire this it back up kill switch, to which I think is just a ground and then the power the that goes to it. But OEM kill switch. So maybe we'll do that eventually. But to yeah, it's just right here, and yeah, we'll probably do it uh, right after we ride it once or something. Here. But when we first go, we'll just we'll just use that kill switch because uh, just trying to do this quickly. So yeah, you can totally wire it up. But it's also if you don't want to wire it up, you can just use the one on there. So it's pretty nice. And this is gonna go right and there. And this is the throttle, right? Yep. So yeah, throttle cable. Same throttle hookup as the original engine. Uh, if you do end up going with an aftermarket carburetor, you will need a different throttle cable. Uh, cable. Uh, it has a different end on it. So like yeah. a Makuni is a different setup. It has like a little barrel at the end. Yeah. Just so this, this is just a wire. It's very easy to get. So, yep. Uh, we'll just skip ahead. Okay, guys, the motor is on, baby. So we didn't have a spacer for the clutch, uh, like a washer. So it has little lock allens on that backside of the clutch. So we just tightened them down and moved it out. So we'll probably get a washer eventually or something to make sure it's kind of permanent. But we'll be able to ride it like that for a little bit. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Cameron, you want to move? Just to show what the engine looks like there. We just have to hook uh, 
Took up the throttle and the wiring, the two wires. Uh, so, what are you doing, camera? I'm loosening all the uh, connections for the th throttle so I can put the throttle in. Okay, yeah. So he's gonna hook up the throttle cable right here. And there's also a bolt. Like, this is the throttle arm right here. Yeah. So you basically it pulls this way to go up, like go like throttle. Higher throttle. Up. Yeah. Which is that like hitting something? It oh, might just be governed or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. But uh, there's a screw back here, hold, kind of holding this arm. And mm -hmm. when you first get the bike or first get the the engine, it's actually really really stiff. Uh, so you have to kind of loosen that bolt so it, it flows freely. So yeah, uh, yeah. Apparently you can get like a runaway engine because because it'll just like, get you guys can see this is like on. a lawnmower engine, so it's just like designed to be just revved at a certain RPM for a while. That's why it doesn't like make a super ton of power. So uh, that's what all these small motors usually are. Uh, so yeah, he's just gonna hook up the throttle, and when we get that all, oh, then we did have to bend that little bracket out back. On this this swap specifically, you have to bend this on the back to get the engine slid backwards so we get the chain on. It's really easy to bend. You just bend it by hand, and then we're gonna. If the fender fits back on, we'll just put the fender back on. Um, but if it doesn't, we'll just probably trim the front of the fender and then mount it like to the back only, or maybe drill a hole in the fender or something to remount it. But yeah, so we just had to bend that because the engine's a little bit bigger, but super easy. So. Once we got the throttle hooked up, we'll uh, probably just show you guys like this thing working. Okay guys, we just threw uh, another 15 ounces or something through that water bottle's worth of gas in there. Come on. We're gonna try to start it up for the first time here. All right, so kill switch on. Choke on, fuel on. Yep, kill switch on the motor. Yeah, this this is doesn't not do hooked anything. up. Here we go. There we go, hey! Oh. oh. There we go. First pull. Pretty cool. Whoa. Did you see that? Spark. You <laughs> got the sparks flying. <laughs> oh, I need to let it warm up. Okay, yes. Just let it warm up for a second. Uh, it's a brand new clutch, so it might have like a little like sharp edges on the inside of the... <laughs> <laughs> that was a little alarming. Look. <laughs> and we can't put this old clutch guard on there. So, uh, might be a little sketch. We'll see, we'll see. And, uh, we'll probably, sh we'll definitely get to show it riding later. But. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. So, uh, want to hop on? Okay, hop on, Cameron. Be careful. Holy shit! <laughs> it's quite a bit faster. Sorry, you're not gonna be able to see him. Oh, you can see this reflective on the back of his boot. <laughs> also 10 o'clock at night, so. Here comes. <laughs> it is way faster. It's so fast! That's uh, half throttle. Okay, let me help on. Yeah, we're gonna do wheelies now. <laughs> okay, let me hop on, let me see. Wow, yeah, you cruise up the hill. That that one Dude, that barely. was up the hill. Yeah, and you gotta have momentum. Okay, and that was with zero. There you go. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so fast. <laughs> Best $400 I've ever spent. Oh yeah, this is the weird throttle. Holy moly! Jesus! Take the wheel! <laughs> this thing has way more torque. <laughs> Woo! Baby! Wow! Yeah, kill switch. Satisfied with the perks. <laughs> that thing is. Whoa, like that one, like, it's like a momentum mobi vehicle. That thing, that feels like the warrior, just like, pop, pop, like, wow, a lot of torque. Yeah, so, uh, pretty sick. Pretty, pretty sick. <laughs>
<laughs> so yeah, uh, is this worth it? Well, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For what? Uh, so he's what three hundred and eighty-five dollars into this. Yeah. And this is a brand like the no rust on the frame. The tires are new. Everything, everything works. And uh, the only thing that broke actually was this throttle setup. We throttle. literally made it. That's like that was a pretty good MacGyver moment. So yeah, uh, for less than four hundred dollars, you could have a beast like this. So yeah, we're gonna probably show you in the daylight tomorrow uh, what this thing is really capable versus the OG one hundred. So yeah, that'll be the rest of the video. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, guys, just real quick before we cut to tomorrow in the daylight, we, we just put this little headlight on there, little cat lamp, uh, just zip tied on the frame. So we're gonna see how this how this works. Uh, I want to see what it looks like when you drive driving with it. So uh, just a couple zip ties. This thing's pretty tricked out. I was thinking I want to put a speaker on mine. Uh, and I might do this. Maybe get another one of these tile flashlights or something. Put a headlamp on mine. Because that would be pretty sick. To have a light all the time. Like, go night riding. We gotta take... Oh my gosh, this thing is crazy. Okay, come on, hop on quick. Here we go. Oh, and I did move the pull start. By the way, we like did take that off and rotate it back. Yeah, so this this was over here. So yeah. Uh, so we just you take it off, rotate it. Back. Super easy. Three bolts. Go for it. There he goes with the little headlamp. You can't see anything, but you can kind of see him. He's gonna go down the road. So yeah, we'll we'll check back in the daylight tomorrow. See how really fast this is. Okay guys, welcome back. We're back today. It's a wet one, you guys can see. And there are the mini bikes. Oh yeah, you guys can see. Now we're in the daylight. Showing you last night, it's wet. But there's the 212. Oh, it's dripping on your bike really bad. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, it's waterproof. Ish. Maybe move your bike. It's like pleather. The garage door is wet and stuff, so. Yeah, we're gonna race them now. We're gonna show you the performance difference of this sweet 12, but we do have to do something real quick because we didn't have the spacers last night for the clutch. So we're gonna work on that clutch and we're just gonna throw some washers so it stabilizes and stuff. Um, we'll just do it real quick and we'll show you what it looks like after. Um, and then we're gonna show you. We're, we were gonna motor vlog it, but Cameron forgot the little piece to the Nah, I'm just joking. So we, don't, we can't motor vlog it very good, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll show you guys just how fast each one is. And we'll do the top speed test too. Yeah, we're gonna show you guys with a speedometer uh, the speed of this bad boy right now. And we'll probably do that one just to show the difference. Yeah. Okay, Cameron just finished up the clutch. We just put two very thin spacers on the back side, and then just, uh, you don't even need that thick of one, but just to uh, keep the clutch from moving back and forth because it was like, had some space to move. So she's ready to go. Okay, Cameron, let's see if this baby starts in the rain. Uh, literally worked last night, so. There we go. The fuel on? The fuel might be off. No, it's on. Oh, okay. Let it warm up for a second. So, do you want to do a top speed run? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, we'll go down, and my driveway is about 150 yards long, I believe. So, he'll go all the way down to the end, and then he'll come down and gas it out until we hit the grass down there at the bend. And then we'll see how fast he goes. Cool, but it kind of slows down the top end. Here goes. <laughs> okay, let's see what he says. Okay, Cameron, what'd you get? This is the 212 completely stock. Top speed run here. All right, so top speed of 25. Oh, 25, what? Yeah, doesn't seem right, but. That's, uh, I think it's probably right, because this is only about 150 yards long. This is not super long, guys. Um, That's stock 212 on small tires. And, and it's also wet. Yeah, it's also wet. <laughs> Okay, right, guys, wish me luck. Oh, Jesus. Okay, guys, 
guys. Here we go. Moment of truth. Guess. 20.1. 28, baby. What? Okay, we got to rerun that. Something's wrong. We're going to rerun that one because uh, maybe you maybe you got out of it early. I don't know. I literally was like right here when I got out of it. So I'll run that one and see. So just we have a fair comparison. Yeah. Um, 28, that's pretty good. Yeah, this thing is uh, not much torque, but good top end. All right, so if you go ahead and... All right, so we'll come back and uh, we'll film him coming in on the two. Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh, that was not that fast. Maybe something's up with the. Oh, oh geez, my shoe. Okay. All right, it's time to see it didn't go that fast. Time to see what we got. I feel like mine's faster. Here we go. What? 24. Yeah, I think this one. I think something's up with the governor. We're going to zip tie the governor and uh, we'll do another run after that. Because something, no way, that should be slower. Yeah. So much more torque, though. All right, we'll come back. Okay, guys, so we're going to zip tie the governor on this 212. So this is a completely stock engine. Um, and there is a governor spring. I don't know if you can show it, but we'll pull the throttle. And you guys can see this is a little lower. Maybe you're not even hitting the governor. I don't know. You're, look, yeah, you're not even have full throttle. Look. Oh, well, maybe. No, full throttle. Something is going on here. But, you know, the, the governor doesn't engage until you get the top end. Yeah, which is when we're hitting. So I'm just going to zip tie this anyways. Because it could be affecting it. Okay, guys, I don't know how I'm going to film this. But I'm going to try uh, with one hand to ride this mini bike. So... Here we go, we're gonna race. I'm gonna go. There he goes. Oh my god, mine is slow. See just how much torque. I'm literally full throttle right now. But this one has good top end. Oh jeez, okay, I gotta get on the brake. Oh. Okay guys, we're coming back for another top speed run. He is uh I can tell you right now, he thinks it's already faster. Uh so the governor zip tied governor trek is definitely worth it. Whoa, he's flying! on the ground <laughs> way too fast for the brakes on this thing uh wow that's about like 40 yards of 35 yards of grass he just absolutely plowed through Ooh, sun's coming out okay we'll show you the top speed i think it's gonna be pretty high what, what was that run like super fast <laughs> it's kind of scary very scary and i could definitely go faster yeah uh he said he was kind of getting some valve float and uh can you guess the speed I'll say nothing crazy. 36. 34 and a half. Oh, that's pretty fast though. I would say you could probably get up to 36, 38. And to be honest, I mean, I don't want to be me, but you're a bigger rider. Yeah. This is a bigger rider and we're, we're, we're both bigger guys. We're not like little kids. So it's pretty impressive. Uh, so this we'll is completely we'll stock. Jacob try it. Uh, to see if he can get a little faster. I, I don't I don't know. This is kind of scary, but I'll try. I'll try. I don't want to just eat shit in that fence over there, but <laughs> I'll go next, and we'll see if we can break 36, 35. Oh, my God! Jesus! I 
I don't know if that was faster than yours, but let's see. It was fast. Didn't feel as scary as I thought. Yeah, it wasn't as fast. Only 33. But that was after his first run, so maybe it was hot or something. But probably just let out a little bit earlier and didn't get it. Oh, you did go up the hill a bit. Or no, no, you didn't. No, I, I stopped. Yeah. So probably just not as good start or something. Or... 33, 34. So this thing hustles. Uh, and this is, I could definitely go fast. I could tell it was it was, it was was still pulling a little bit. Um, All right, so compare them all the uh, space 100. So this is a, bike. we got 28 out of this guy. That's pretty good. So this is like five to six miles an hour faster with the governor tied. But the big thing is the torque is like crazy, crazy just because how small and light it is. And, you know, on a dirt bike, you got 17 inch rear tire. This is like a 10 inch tall tire, like 12 inch or something. So it's so easy to just whack, like, or, so yeah, it's a lot of torque. And uh, maybe we'll try to film another race or something. Or what should I do? What should we do? That'll probably be it. Actually. Let's just maybe just show it romping around in the yard a little bit. We'll just show you kind of this off what's capable off road because this one basically cannot go off road, the 100. So, yeah. And then, uh, next episode, guys, we're probably going to be modifying it. So, we'll just show you some riding footage and then we'll head out. Awesome. Thank you.